Today's Cybertruck recall involves an issue with the driver unit inverter, which is the heart of your Cybertruck's electrical system. And Tesla can't solve this with a software update. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. And uh, if you are here first time, please subscribe to this channel and give us thumbs up if you like this report, which is very important for Cybertruck owners. And today we're going to drive deep into the, these topics critical for every Cybertruck owner and enthusiast. And it has to do about today's recall, which is the sixth this year, the first year Cybertruck debuted. You might have heard the news, but if you haven't, buckle up because this is something you need to know about. Do you know that today's Cybertruck recall has to do with the truck's heart? I'll explain in a moment, but now let's talk about the sixth recall of the Tesla Cybertruck in its debut year. I mean, these things happen with other cars as well, so no problem there. The Tesla Cybertruck has captured the imagination of tech lovers and car enthusiasts alike, but with innovation comes the unexpected. Today's recall involves an issue with the drive unit inverter affecting 2,431 Cybertrucks made between November 2023 and July 2024. Here's why this matters to you. First, Let's break down what the driver unit inverter does so everybody can understand. It's like the heart of your Cybertruck's electric system, converting the battery's DC power into the AC power the motor needs to move the car. If it fails, your truck could lose power, which is not just inconvenient, it's potentially dangerous. The inverter is integral for the vehicle's operation. Any failure here can lead to a complete loss of uh, propulsion, and that's not something you want happening on the highway of a, uh, or um, let's say you're driving your Cybertruck off-road. So why can't this be fixed, uh, be fixed with one of Tesla's famous over-the-air updates? This cannot be fixed over-the-air updates. Well, because this issue involves physical hardware, not just software. Here's what you need to understand, friends. Hardware failure. Let's talk about that first. Unlike software glitches, you cannot code your way out of a hardware problem. In this case, the inverter needs to be probably physically replaced. Second, safety first. Tesla prioritizes soft, uh, safety and replacing this component ensures your Cybertruck remains safe and functional. This is why this is a serious issue. That's why Tesla is physically recalling the Cybertrucks. The, let's talk about the next one, the physical touch. Some things require human touch. Technicians need to see, test, and ensure everything is working in your Cybertruck as it uh, should post replacement. Um, so what should you do if you are a Cybertruck owner and your Cybertruck is affected? First, check your VIN number. Go to Tesla's recall page or contact your nearest service center, uh, Tesla service center, uh, to see if your truck is included in this recall. So if you're a Cybertruck owner or you know someone uh, that has a Cybertruck, tell them about this, that this is not an over-the-air recall. This is serious. And next, do service appointment. Book a service appointment. Tesla will replace the faulty inverters free of charge and also stay informed. Keep an eye on Tesla's updates. They're known for quickly addressing issues with their vehicles. This recall, friends, underlies the challenges of pioneering new automotive technologies. To be honest, this is why I never tend to buy a vehicle in its first year of production. Let's be patient. It's a lesson in the complexities of electric vehicles, particularly one as unique as the Cybertruck. But remember, recalls are about improving the product, improving the car, ensuring safety of the vehicle, and enhancing your driving experience in the long run. So like I said, in total, 2,431 Cybertrucks manufactured between November 6, 2023 and July 30, 2024, are affected by this recall according to the National Highway Traffic Administration. And to be safe, this is not like the 500,000, I think, uh, other vehicles that were in the news recall today. So guys, I think the Cybertruck remains a symbol of future transportation, but it's also a reminder that even the most advanced vehicles are not immune to thieving problems. You continued um, the support uh, and feedback 
are very important for me so please uh, let me know drop a comment what do you think about this recall and about the inverter problem and also if you like this report uh, don't forget to like subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out an important update from torque news youtube channel we'll see you in the next episode where we explore more about making your cyber truck or electric vehicle journey as smooth as possible until then drive safe and god bless you everyone this is armin harian from torquenews.com see you soon in our next report